Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah and you're watching So Beauty Stuff. Today I'm going to talk to you about a eyeliner that's kind of gone a little bit viral online. Um, this is an eyeliner from a company called Esquido. I think I'm saying that right. Esquido? Esquido? Esquido actually sent me this liner for free. Um, they actually sent me two. So I have a spare one which I will do as a giveaway. Uh, watch to the end to find out how to get that. So this is a gel pencil liner. Um, I'll show you what it looks like out of the packet. Just a regular old pencil. You can twist this to bring the nib up and then it has a little sharpening device on the end, which is really cool. You always get that sharp point. I'll give you the basics. Um, on the website, it says that it is all day wear, smudge proof and water resistance and cruelty free. Uh, one liner is 16 US dollars and you get a two pack of liners to 26 US dollars. It comes in black and it comes in brown. Um, the company also sell things like eyelashes. Um, I think initially that's what they came out with. Um, I asked them to send me a little bit more information about the company. They said to check the website. I can't find anything about the history of the brand. Um, I'm not sure where they were founded, when they were founded, anything like that. So there are two videos that I watched about this eyeliner that made me decide I wanted to uh, to accept the free eyeliner. So the first video, there's a lady who um, has her eyeliner drawn on and then she's literally rubbing it with her fingers and they spray her face with some water, she rubs it again and it does not come off. And then there's a second video on YouTube of uh, drawing on a line, it's called a line test. So they draw a line of eyeliner and then after two seconds they rub it and it smudges. After one minute they rub it and it transfers but it doesn't smudge and after two minutes it does not budge. I'm gonna replicate that test. So I'm gonna do three lines. One I'm gonna rub pretty much straight away, one I'm gonna rub after one minute and one I'm gonna rub after two minutes. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so I've got my timer running. I'm gonna rub this first one straight away. As you can see, that smudged, it's been about five seconds. So that one has smudged. I'm gonna wait till one minute has passed to try the second line. Um, but what I will say is it's really nice pigment. Um, it's come out really, oh, this is really awkward to show this part of my arm on camera. So it's come out really nice and pigmented. Um, it's nice and opaque, the color payoff. Even though there is a point to the, uh, to the pencil, it is quite thick, so it's not um, something personally I would use for like winged eyeliner, but it would be nice for a nice sort of smudgy line, um, or base for a smoky eye, or just your standard um, liner. That has now been one minute, so. Only the very edge is smudging, and it is transferring on my finger, but it's obviously a lot less smudgy than this original line. So we'll just do another minute now, and then we'll see if this final line is dry and set. So two minutes is not long, I can, I think I could cope with not touching my eyeliner for two minutes for it to not smudge. Um, so I've done all my makeup. I did my makeup in about five minutes this morning, so it's not amazing. Um, but I didn't do anything with my eyes, really. I put a tiny bit of bronzer on, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, once I've finished testing my line on here, I'm going to draw my eyeliner on, make sure that it doesn't budge, um, and then basically I'm just gonna check in at the end of the day and make sure that it's all still in place, smudge proof, all day lasting wear. Um, it is about, 11 a.m. so it won't be a full full day but we'll still get the idea of the test okay so that's been two minutes now let's see moment of truth okay so maybe it's not completely dry I had some slight just get my brace out of the way I had some slight smudging on the ends but as you can see all three lines are now pretty much budge proof. So I guess the next test would be water. I have some Mac Fix Plus so I'm gonna spray it. My arm's pretty wet now. Okay <laughs> that's that's not moving. So I think I've possibly lost a little bit of the pigment there if you look at this third line. Um, it's not completely opaque as it was when I first drew it on, um, but we haven't smudged it, it's not gone. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so I will uh, also have a look at how this uh, washes off my arm afterwards. But first, let's put this on my eyes. So I'm literally going to just do um, a little bit of eyeliner along my lash line. 
I've already smudged it. But the good thing is that when it's still wet, we can smudge it out. Oh no, I've drawn it on my cheek. I mean, this could be pretty good for faux freckles as well. I'm going to deliberately smudge it out on the edges just a little bit. Just so I don't have any harsh lines. Oh, maybe I will do a bit of a smudgy corner. So I'm just coloring in the corner and then I'm gonna smudge it. Okay, so I will blend that a little bit better with some eyeshadow once I've given this a chance to dry. Um, but I've got eyeliner all across my lash line and then just smudged out the liner in my outer corner. I drew a bit on my inner corner, so let's get rid of that before it sets. So I think you can see the difference between my two eyes with the eyeliner without. Um, obviously, I'm gonna draw them to match. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I haven't put any shadow on top of it yet. But because it is that quite creamy gel formula on the pencil, it is actually really easy to blend out with a brush. I have made a little bit of a mess of the nib, but you can, I believe, just turn this. So you turn this piece here to bring up the pencil more. And like I mentioned, you can then turn this around uh, to sharpen it. Maybe that will show up on camera. So now what I'm going to do just to help this blend in a bit, I'm going to take... Um, warm taupe from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette just to help blend that color through and now I've just got a really soft kind of half smoky eye okay so I've just uh, smoked out my lower lash line with a little bit of shadow and I'm gonna put a little bit of pencil um, in my waterline being that it's smudge proof and waterproof, it will be interesting to see how it lasts in the waterline. I'm just gonna put a little bit of shimmer on my inner corner and some mascara. Okay, so here's my finished eye look. I've kept it really basic and simple because um, I'm really interested to see how it works as it's just used as a liner on the eye, um, smudged out as a base on the eye and uh, as a liner on the waterline. So I will check in with you at the end of the day um, to see how that's doing. Now I'm gonna take you to the bathroom with me so we can see how we can clean these off my arm. Hopefully in this terrible lighting, you can see my arm. I've got some warm water rubbing here, running here, so I'm just gonna see if I can rub this off. So it does say it's water resistant, not waterproof. I mean, it's definitely beginning to fade, but it's not just coming off with ease. I'm really rubbing that, um, which obviously you wouldn't do that to your eyes. If you do, I think you'd have some real issues. So I'm gonna use some foamy soap. So the foamy soap's done a pretty good job. You can see there's still some residue there, um, considering I'm basically scrubbing it. So I'm gonna use my ultimate makeup removal hack of all time, my Clinique Take the Day Off. Let's just rub that in. And it's all gone. And I would also usually use uh, my face halo, which has a bit more texture on it, just to help wipe the skin if I was using something in the sensitive area like my eyes. Um, so I'll let you know how I get on later today. So as you can probably tell from my disheveled appearance, I've been all day wearing this eyeliner. My eyeshadow have started to wear off. Um, it's definitely worn off my waterline but it stayed perfectly along my lash line and this bit where I smudged out is definitely still there. So the lasting power of this is really good. It's not smudged across my face. So now I'm gonna have a go at taking it off. So I'm gonna use my Clinique Take the Day Off and my Face Halo. Just rub a little bit in there. Okay, a wet face halo.
and it's gone, no problem. If you would like to win your very own Mosquito Brown Gel Liner, um, all you need to do is comment down below with your Instagram handle and go and follow So Beauty Stuff on Instagram. I send this anywhere within New Zealand and Australia, so um, drop your comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give this video a thumbs up and even subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos and why would you want to? See you next time. Bye. Bye.